The Dream 4.0 is now inside of N8N and I have just built this workflow that can create images as well as edit images. So why don't we see what it can do? So this one uses Telegram. So I am going to say, make an image of Pikachu cooking a steak. Realistic reflections. As you can see, I've done a few already. So once that gets sent off, it's going to go down the create image route. And there is our image. I think that looks pretty dang good. I don't think, yeah, this is not even the HD version. This is just normal square. So another thing we can do is have it edit images. So I'm just going to save this. Now, if we go ahead and drop that image into Telegram and we say make him purple, for example, got to activate the workflow. Here we go. Make him purple. Now what's going to happen is it's going to go down the edit image route and it's going to edit that image with CDream 4.0. There you go. As you can see, now Pikachu is purple. Now, another cool thing that it can do is it can combine items within the same image. So if we drag in this image right here, which has a Coca-Cola and the image of the purple Pikachu, and we say, make Pikachu drinking the Coca-Cola. There you go. As you can see, now he has the steak and he is also drinking the Coca-Cola from the image as well. Now, you might have also heard recently about Nano Banana coming out, which can do a similar thing to what I just showed you. Which one's better is kind of debatable. This is so this is Sea Dream right here. Um, this is typical vegetation distribution in four climate zones. Looks pretty good. So what I did was I took this prompt right here, draw a chart showing the blah, blah, blah. I took that into Nano Banana. And this was what I got right here. Now, as you can see, there are actually some little errors, right? Like this doesn't say rainfall. This is rain all, rain, rain tall, right? Um, this letter is messed up. Extreme is an S. This I is a little bit messed up. But on C Dream in this example right here on Foul AI, you can see all of the text actually looks pretty good. You can find this workflow for free in my Telegram. So this is my Telegram right here. Link is in the description. When I post the video, I will have it in here, a file that you can download. And then once you're inside of N8N, in the top right up here, you can just click here, import from file, find wherever you downloaded it, click on it, and then click open, and it will be all set up in here. Now you can use this workflow in any of your other workflows to connect it. You can have the images become videos if you want to connect it to VO3. Now, if you want to get this set up, there is a few things that you will need to actually do for it to authenticate properly. So we need to create, or we need to connect the Telegram bot, and we need to connect Thal AI. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to need is Telegram Desktop, okay? So once you're on Telegram Desktop, in the top left up here, there's a search bar. Just search for Bot Father. B-O-T-F-A-T-H-E-R, Botfather. Once you have searched for Botfather, inside of here, you're going to want to search, or type, sorry, slash start. Okay, it's going to give you all the commands. And you can click right here on slash new bot. Okay, so you can just choose a name. I'm going to call it example one. Then you need a username, so I'll do example 1111122. Then it has to end in bot. So I'm going to do underscore bot. Enter. And now what that's going to do is it's going to give you this token right here that you can use to connect to N8N, essentially. So if you click on here, that's going to copy that. Now what we need to authenticate here is first this bot ID right here, this node right here, this little pen. I'm going to open that up, paste that in right there. Then we also need to authenticate all of these uh, Telegram nodes as well. So I'm going to open the first one here, click here, click create new credential, paste it in and right there. And then I'm going to name this actually example, and then click on save. I'm going to test it. There you go. All good to go. 
And now I'm gonna go into the other ones, credential to connect with, click here, click on the same one, right? I named it example, third one, click on the same one. There you go. Now all of your Telegram is authenticated and you can test this by just clicking this little plus on this right here and then go back into Telegram and you can click right here to start talking with your bot. I'm going to click this, type slash start. As you can see, it has received the message inside of NADN. Now that that's done, you've just got to authenticate Fal AI. So I will leave a link to Fal AI in the description. Each image only costs three cents, so it's not too expensive. What you're going to want to do is come up here to the top right once you're signed in. Click here, click on account, then you can click on API keys right here. This is where all of your API keys will be. But actually before you get your API key, what you need to do is make sure that you actually have credits on your account. So you can come to usage and billing right here. And then on the left credits, this is where you can buy some credit so that when it's pinged from NADN, it actually works, right? Once you've added a little bit of credit, you can come over here to API keys, click on add key. It's going to give you the key. Copy the key. You can only copy it once. Once you've copied it, you're going to want to bring that back into NADN. Then there are four nodes here that we need to authenticate with Fal AI. So I've left a little note down here actually for the name and the value. The name is authorization. The value is key space your key that you just copied. So I'll show you what I mean. So all of these HTTP requests right here, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, all four of those, you can ignore this image link one. If we open up this one, for example, create image, you're gonna wanna come down here to header auth, click here, click create new credential. The name, again, it's authorization. It has to be spelled exactly like that with a capital A. The value, click on expression over here, type key with a capital K, space, and then paste your key from Cal AI, uh, sorry, Fal AI right there. Okay? And then you can name this Fal AI and hit save. Now, once you have saved it, that will be authenticated. And then you just need to come into get image right here. Click right here under header auth and then click on whatever you named it and that will authenticate that node. And then you just have to do that for edit image and get edit right here. So this one, find it here. And this one, find it here. And after that, everything should be good to go. Now, another thing to note is over here on the right, I have left all of the options for the image size. So, Let's say you wanted a portrait image. You would just double click on this portrait. It has it in 16 by 9 instead of 9 by 16, but it says portrait, so that's what works. You just copy that. All you have to do is for, let's go into create image, for example. We can scroll down. And as you can see, image size, where it says square, we'll just paste that right in there. And then if we come to, we can do the same thing for edit image right here, edit image. Scroll down through all this, we can just paste that right there. And now the images that we get will be in the 16 or sorry, nine by 16 portrait format. It's better to keep all of the images you're using in the same format. So why don't I test out this right now in the portrait format? So I'm going to test it. This is our new bot that we made. Let's put in a nine by 16 image of Pikachu. I'm going to say, give him a party hat. I'm going to say give the character a party hat. Send. There we go. Okay, there is our image and Pikachu now has a party hat on. So that is pretty awesome. So if you're a little bit more curious about how this all works, essentially once the telegram trigger is activated from a message or a message with a image, it's going to go into this if node right here, which is going to determine if it needs to be edited or if we just need to create an image. So, right, because if there's an image, it needs to be edited. If it's just text, we need to make an image. So that's what this is determining right here. 
So if we open this up, this expression right here is for the file ID. So we're only going to have a file ID if there's been an image sent through Telegram. Now I have it set to does not exist. So it is a double negative right here, as you can see, because it comes out the false side. So when there's an image sent, does not exist but there is an image, so it's considered false. So it comes out down here. Then it's going to go into the bot ID. This is just the bot ID we authenticated earlier. And then you have your image link. So this is the Telegram API. We're using the bot ID. And then we are getting the file ID, as you can see if we open Telegram here. Because we sent an image through, file ID. This has just been dragged into here and we're getting the file ID so that we can find the file path, which is from Telegram server, basically, right? Then when we go on to edit image, which is a file AI HTTP request, so now we're talking with file AI, what we can do is in the image URLs, this is Telegram right here, and we're using the file path, right? This JPEG right here, the file path, to have the image that we can give to file AI so that file AI can use it with um, CDream, right? To edit the image. And then for the prompt right here, if we open Telegram, this is just what's written. So if we scroll all the way down, you can see caption, give the character a party hat. This is from that, right? This was just dragged in into here for the prompt. And that is everything for that. Then once that's done, it's going to wait for it to be finished, actually. And then this get request right here is going to retrieve the image and send it back to us in Telegram. And it's the same thing for the create image. So if there's no image sent, then it's going to use this HTTP request to ping file AI, make the image. We're going to wait for that to be done. And then... Once it's done, this right here is going to bring it back into NADN, and then this Telegram node is going to send it from NADN or file AI, whatever you want to say, back to us so that we can see it. One final note as well is if you want to create these kind of images where there's like overlapping, so you can have multiple pictures together, I'm just using Canva. Canva is completely free. All you got to do is come on here, click create. You can choose your size. They have a bunch of uh, different options here like this would be 9 by 16 you just put all your images on here and then go share download and you can download your image that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching again you can find the download link inside of my telegram link is in the description if you join my telegram you can stay up to date on the latest ai news and all of my videos before they come out thanks again and i'll see you later